today we are going to read Creepy Pair of Underwear. Jack the Rabbit needs a new underwear on Tuesday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last pair, the last three pairs of plain white. But as they headed for the checkout, Jack they spotted them. Creepy underwear, so, so creepy, so com comfy, very glorious. Can we get, get injected? Please, I think they're a little too creepy, Mom, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jack, but I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm big rabbit now. Mom was used to buy one pair. That night, Jack wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the light, the hallway light on? I found that I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jack, but I'm big rabbit now. His dad shut the door and, went, and that's when Jack noticed. The underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He, he buried his face in, in his pillow, but it, but, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jack leaped out of bed and put on a, a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. He finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything. But he was done with gay underwear. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A splashy scraping sound coming from his jacket. He opened the door and they were back. Staring at him with that ghoulish, ghoulish glow. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. Good China! Bye bye, sir, underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were, and were those. of underwear had somehow returned from China and, and it brought back some souvenirs. Jasper grabbed his mom's big stone with winning scissors. She didn't like, like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the baby underwear was gone for good. At that time, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white. He, he searched under his, his bed. He shook out the lamp. Whew, there was no sign of creepy underwear. He went to the bathroom to comb his ears. They were back. What's the matter with you? His mom asked. You look so jittery like you. Nothing, he yelled. A grown rabbit. Couldn't be terrified of his own underpants. He sneaked the un he snagged he snagged the underwear. He snagged he snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Cracker Hill. <coughs> That's what he was going for good. He dug his story hole was dark and deep and one hundred percent underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. He leaned from the bottom of that ghoulish green glow, but not for long. When he got home, Jack had crept on his dresser. He couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? Mm -hmm. He for the handle. He, he peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jack was smiling at him and turned out the light. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non glowing pair of plain white and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with, 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 the, with, with that gentle greenish glow. The next day, Jasper gathered 
his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by itself. Just like a big, just like a big rabbit. The na- that night, Jasper was not scared at all and lay down in the pile and pulled his underwear. But he had finally found someone who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. The end. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye!